Action anime is all about pushing past your limits and overcoming challenging obstacles with sheer willpower. Although logically it may not make sense on occasions, they are still epic inspirational moments. I am not including any transformations as a limit breaking moment because then the list will be filled with mainstream anime. No flashbacks, no power of friendship, pure willpower to pull all of his strength into one powerful strike. Both noble knights were equally inspirational as neither wanted to use any tricks, wished to see the other's power and bring out their greatest. Icky trades all his energy and strength into one single move to defeat the strongest noble knight there is. Whereas she could have easily won this battle as she only had to dodge his strike once, but instead she wanted to defeat him at his very best. A clash that only lasts a few seconds, but had a greater impact than many action anime. This is the moment when Bell finally confronts his fears and overcomes his weakness. Despite having cheat stats, God's knife, magic learnt for free, and a civilized minotaur waiting for their conversations to end, he doesn't create the impression of overwhelming power, but someone who truly attempts to break their limit. This fight in particular was impressive as it clearly portrays the pain and brutality endured by the main character while showing every move performed by him. No new sudden or hidden techniques were unlocked, only the character fighting with everything he had chipping away at the enemy. The onlookers didn't believe he had a chance until the very last second. Kenshin's determination to not kill makes his life quite difficult, and yet he still manages to win often, purely thanks to his willpower and constantly pushing past his boundaries. This final showdown is the best example of this. He is mortally wounded numerous times, blown up, knocked unconscious, and that is only halfway into the fight. But it was still not enough. He breaks through his limit by standing back up, unconscious, to continue the fight. <laughs> Iron Blooded Orphans is unlike any other Gundam series. Outnumbered by an enormous army against just two boys, bombarded by orbital lances meant to kill starships, swarmed by almost everything the opposing army has, and yet still make an absolute bloodbath out of it. A last stand fitting for a pair of demons. Especially Mika pushing himself to the utmost limits to destroy almost all of the opposing army with just one arm and a half-broken machine. Goblin Slayer in general has very intense, uncomfortable, and stressful scenes, and this is one of them. The Slayer has been smashed into a brick wall, bloodied, one arm broken, and near death. His friends are overwhelmed by goblins, Archer about to be raped, and Priestess about to be eaten. But unlike others on this list, the Goblin Slayer pushes past his limit using pure hatred. He is filled with rage, his eye glowing red, and with absolute fury he proceeds to come back and utterly brutalize the goblin champion. Yu-Gi-Oh! wasn't exactly the scariest of characters, 
someone you would call cute and innocent. But this was a massive character development moment and perfect example of exceeding the physical limit placed in this virtual world. A great deal of willpower was necessary to overcome the restriction and more importantly, breaking past this limit also signifies that he is a true AI. However, overcoming this restriction was just the beginning. The subsequent excruciating pain from an exploding eye would cause any normal person to lose conscious, and yet he soldiered through the pain to stop the villainous act before his remaining eye. For the ones who know Mob, he has gone past 100% multiple times, and as a result, the over 100% state doesn't give a limit-breaking impression. However, in this particular fight, even though he doesn't go past the 100% state, the final scene was definitely a moment where he pushed through his limits. When knocked unconscious by the curse spray, Mob still manages to stand back up, unconscious. This wasn't thanks to his psychic powers, but sheer will to save his brother. And this final push was all that was needed to cause the enemy to retreat. Overall, the enemy was lucky that Mob only used 100% of his power. This is a fight that almost always makes it into the top 10 of many Naruto lists. A fight that is not even half as long as most Naruto fights, and yet had a greater impact than most fights offered by this show. The opponent here is a character feared by many, and yet Lee was able to perform tremendously well, even though he has no apparent special ability or talent. His fearless nature and attitude towards hard work is what made him into one of the strongest characters at that point in time. A battle that Lee should have clearly won if it wasn't for the opponent's plot armor, but nevertheless, it gave rise to an inspirational scene. Moments after Guy intervenes to stop a lethal attack, Lee's body stands back up, unconscious, but his soul is still ready to continue the fight. This show is all about going plus ultra, but one particular moment that stands out the most is against the villain Muscular, a foe that was far stronger at that moment in time and normally would have won, but little did he know he was fighting against the main character. But the beauty of this fight is when he is being crushed by this behemoth. He transitions from being a hero to just another teenager crying for his mother. Come on! However, just moments before all hope is lost, he is reminded that the life at risk wasn't just his, but another child. This is the moment where he pushes well past his limit, constantly flowing 100% of one for all power into his arm, risking permanent damage to his right arm. He stood his ground and bought enough time to save a single kid's future at the cost of potentially losing his future as a hero. True hero. <laughs> This anime is renowned for over-the-top action and willpower-driven strength. The battle scale as far as using entire galaxies as frisbees. But the best representation of pushing past your limits happened very early on in the show. Unlike any other characters in this list, this guy revives himself just long enough to avenge his own death by pulling the very first Giga Drill Breaker. the perfect move to show his limit-breaking abilities. I cannot think of a better limit-breaker than reviving oneself to take out an enemy before passing away again. He may have died, but his spirit lives on in every episode and is what keeps the team fighting. Now, it would be fantastic if you could break the limit of 10,000 likes for this video. Let me know what your favorite limit-breaking moments were, and if you enjoyed that, please leave a like and remember to subscribe for future top 10s.